Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor and WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how to use free responsive templates and create a professional website within minutes. We are going to install a free plugin that will give you an option to import responsive templates which will work with Elementor as well as the default WordPress Gutenberg page builder. In this example, I'm going to use the Elementor page builder and I'm going to import the starter templates for the Elementor. You can also use this plugin to import the starter template for Gutenberg. If you are not using Elementor, you can use it with Gutenberg also. So this is an example of the website that I have created here. This is the home page. And this is the template that is imported automatically and it has created the website. It will also install the form automatically. This is the footer. In many cases, you will need to create header and footer on your own. If you are using the free plugin, then you will need to create the header and footer on your own. And I have already published a video on how to create header and footer in the Elementor using free plugins. So you can use the combination of free plugins to create the header and footer. And after that, you can import the free templates to create the entire website. So this was the home page. Here you will see many different templates that are available. Some of the templates are free and some of them are for the pro version. So in this video, we are going to use only the free templates. We will see how you can install the plugin and how you can import the free templates. Apart from free templates, you can also install the entire website for free. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and on this website we are using Elementor Page Builder. So first let me show you which plugins are installed on this website. Now let's go to plugins. And here you will see I have the basic free Elementor plugin installed. And this is the Elementor header and footer builder plugin. I installed this plugin to create the header and footer for the website. Now let me show you we have home page created. It's a blank page and I also have menu created. And in the menu I have home. So this is all I have on the website and this is how the website looks. This is the header section. I have the simple logo and this navigation menu in the footer this is the footer section we have the logo the contact details and services this is just for the dummy purpose we do not have anything here now we are going to install the free responsive starter template plugin i have already created header and footer because we are going to install the templates and templates do not usually have the header and footers we have created the dynamic header for the entire website i have already published videos on how to create the header and footer for your website using elementor free plugins i'll give you the link in the description box you can watch that video and you can also create different headers and footers using elementor free plugin so let's go to the plugins and we are going to install the free starter template plugin so go to add new we are on the plugins go to add new here search for responsive starter templates and this is the plugin that we are going to install it is developed by cyber chimps so click on install now so this is responsive starter templates elementor and wordpress templates so it will work with the gutenberg also meanwhile you can check the more details here here you will see one click demo import and these are the features it will work on mobile as well as the desktop. These are the templates, business, website, starter template, health and wellness, local businesses. So all the templates are already created. We just need to import these templates and you can create website within minutes. Let's close it. Activate the plugin. All right, so the plugin has been activated and this is the dashboard. Here you can go to help center you will see video guides community support so here you will see responsive templates click on it 
now you will see all the templates which are available now here you can see the page builder that you are using all elementor gutenberg so you will see the templates which will work with elementor as well as gutenberg here you will see the sorting option business blog e-commerce one page all free or premium so some templates are free and some templates are only for the pro version here you will see the pro version template these are the free templates so if you click on this one free you will see all the free templates here if you go to gutenberg it will show the templates which will work with the gutenberg i'm going to select elementor okay so here you will see different templates these are the free templates many templates are available for free let's see which one we can install let's try this one just move the cursor and you will see entire page here photo studio let's click on preview and this is how it will look this is for the photo studio photography studio now here you will see two different options import site and import template if you want to import only templates you can select this option if you want to create the entire site then you can select this option and it will install their theme as well as all the required plugins along with the templates so let's start with the import template and we will see how the import site works click on import template now here you will see five different templates are available home about portfolio and contact portfolio contact and blog page so here you can see if you click on about you will see how the about template looks portfolio this is how the portfolio portfolio will look contact us so i'm going to select home because we do not have anything for the home page so we are going to select home and here you will see the option import home template click on it now it says install required plugin elementor and import content we already have elementor plugin installed however if you do not have it installed it will get installed automatically click on import template and click on view template so this is how the template will look now here you can see that it is using the same header that we have created and this is the footer that is added we can delete that and this is the footer of the site so we can either use this footer or you can use this footer okay now let's go back and close this option go to pages now here you can see that it has created a page automatically so this is the default page that we are using this is the one which does not have anything and this is the one that template has created it is still in draft it is not published yet and you can see the preview here all right so let's go back to dashboard pages now what i need to do i need to use this page as the main page so let's see how we can edit this new home page click on edit with elementor all right if if i want to change this image i can simply click on it and from here i can upload new image if you already have it downloaded you can select the image and replace the image you see this is the image if i want to replace it with this one i can simply select this one and you will see it here now this is photography studio and i can add text here so this is how you can add you can modify the layout these are the images you can add your content here these are the services portfolio this is the footer that is added by the template i do not want it i can delete it and publish it now we have published it it was in the draft now it is published have a look and this is how it will look
So you can see that we have created the home page within minutes. Now let's go back to responsive and go back to responsive template. Select free one. And let's go to the same template, this one, and add the contact page. Click on import template and I'm going to add the contact page. Click on it. Click on import contact page template. And here you will see that another plugin has been added, WP Forms Lite. So in order to create the form on the contact page, it will install the WP Forms Lite plugin automatically. Click on it. Now you can see that contact us page is ready here. So let's go back, close this one. And here you can see that WP forms has been installed. This is the simple contact form. Let's go to contact page and click on edit with Elementor. And here you can see that the form has been added. This is the short code. It has been done automatically. Here you can change the location, your phone number, your email address and your social media icons. In the map, you can simply enter your location and it will show the map. You can customize the layout. Just click on publish. Have a look. And you can see that the contact page is ready. So you don't need to do anything. You don't need to customize the style settings. You can use the pre-designed templates. You just need to edit the content here. Let's go to the pages. And here I'm going to delete all the pages. Okay, so we do not have any page. Now let's go to responsive and go to responsive templates. And I'm going to, this time I'm going to create the entire site. Let's use this one music band so i'm going to click on it so this is how it will look now click on import site now it shows which plugins are required and it will install all the plugins automatically it needs woocommerce also delete previous import so i'm going to delete the previous import click on it so now we are going to create the entire site using the responsive starter template it will install their own responsive theme so along with templates, it is going to install theme also. So you can see that the site import is completed. Click on launch site. Now here you will see the entire site is ready. This is the home page. Here you will see we have two different footers here. So you can replace this footer with the new one. I'll give you the link in the description box how to create footer using Elementor. You, you can watch that video and create your own footer. Let's go back, delete, close it. Go to pages. And here you will see all the pages which are created automatically. If I go to appearance and go to menus. Let's close this one. And here we can see all the pages. So I'm going to use I'm going to add these pages. Save the menu. Let's go back and refresh it. And you can see that all the pages are there. Go to contact. This is the contact page. This is the tools page. If you want to make any changes, you can simply go to that page and click on edit with Elementor. And you can make changes to the page easily. So you can see that how easily you can create your own website using these templates or you can simply import the entire site using this responsive starter template plugin. You can install their theme. Let me show you the theme that is installed here. So earlier we were using this hello theme. Now this theme is replaced by the responsive theme. Now I do have the pro version of this plugin and in one of the upcoming videos, I'll show you how to use the pro plugin and customize the theme. Here you can see responsive options. 
so from here you can change the layout upload logo customize header section here you can see free versus pro now these are the features of the pro exclusive widgets exclusive content deals and offers responsive starter templates free only and these are the templates available for the pro version i'll give you the link in the description box you can check the link for the pro version also so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips